I have just come back from afternoon tea and of course I hadn't had a chance yet to do an outfit of the day so I'm doing that now. I'm really liking my hairstyle and luckily, shockingly, it's held up in the rain so yeah that's a huge bonus and um, yeah so I've got on a pearl headband, well it's not real pearl but um, yeah it's from Primark but it's a pearl design headband. This necklace which I've had for a while, um, for a long time really and it's old, I presume vintage so yeah it's just a cute heart design this is a primark dress and it's very autumnal so it's a midi like that and then here it goes up on the sides as well with this tie waist detail here as well and uh yeah quite simple but chic and elegant because it was for afternoon tea and yeah that my hair is a testament i think to the what would you call it the um hairspray that I've been using which is the Schwarzkopf shine coat um shine coat hairspray or shine spray it adds a bit of shine to your hair as well and the fact that it was super windy and kind of rainy today and the hairstyle still kept huge bonus so uh yeah then I've still got my Christmas New Year's nails going and that's it. Then I just wore the rest was black accessories. I have on black tights, I wore black boots, a black coat. So yeah, pretty simple, but these were the main pieces, especially for getting photos and videos. So guys, this is the first time I'm hosting uh, my mum for this. Normally I'm doing like stuff with friends, but we're having a mummy daughter day. I'm taking her to the theater and then I've made dinner. So we've got this like Moroccan couscous tempeh salad. And then I tried to make this super professional. So it kind of looks, um, you know, like what you'd get in a restaurant, which I'm actually quite happy with it, with how it turned out. And yeah, it's just like a veggie soup. Got some ve obviously all vegan, cream, parsley, olive oil. Yeah, looks good. And then I'm having some Prosecco. My mum and I are in Covent Garden now. We're gonna walk, uh, we're gonna walk through here to the, cin um, not cinema, to the theatre. We're going to the Duchess Theatre to see the play that goes wrong. And okay, it's called Apple Market in North Holt Hall. I forgot what it's called, but it's like the indoor Covent Garden market area. So it's got loads of like indoor stores. It's under a roof. They've just taken down all of the Christmas decorations already, but it's still very, very cute. I really love it. Covent Garden is probably like one of my favorite parts of London. I am hosting a little girls night. I'm doing a vision board making evening. And um, yeah, I think I showed little clips or I'll insert them shortly of the table and the setup. It's right there. So I made a very cute charcuterie board for the first time. It actually turned out really well. So I'm really happy with that. Um, glittery, no alcohol Prosecco drinks, which is basically just like a no alcohol version of normal Prosecco. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, just set it up for like all the tools and crafts that we need to make vision boards and they're going to be obviously like physical boards, not just like digital Pinterest boards. And yeah, it's just a very fun girly night inspired by TikTok. Um, I will do a little outfit of the day as well shortly and on TV, if you can see there, I also have this little subliminal video playing that's showing all sorts of like self-concept, um, footage and clips from like movies and music videos and things. So yeah, it's just a very fun
this is probably a clip I will put at the end because I'm filming at the end of the evening. Um, we're done with our vision boards and yeah, I am now cleaning up the flat. Um, not that we made a big mess, but there's loads of cut up papers, obviously. We used a stack of magazines. You might have seen in one of the previous clips, I had a Vogue, which I had to quickly read the other day because I had procrastinated it for so long. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been given a bunch of old magazines as well, luckily, and I used the most from then. So did my friends. So yeah, and I'm going to show you a little bit of because I was just really I gave myself two hours. But surprisingly, two hours was not even enough to get everything perfectly done. And you know, film my content I had to film, um, you know, at the beginning of the evening um when guests were already here so now i'm just going to show you a little update if anyone's interested so first one of the first things i got that i was like this is going to be perfect for a charcuterie board is the new york deli pastrami slices this i got in morrison's but it's pro it's a you know a brand that is sold in probably a lot of big supermarkets and it's yeah basically a, a vegan pastrami and it was a huge success everyone loved it high in protein, low saturated fats. And yeah, obviously like having a meat that's not, you know, pastrami, salami or prosciutto, whatever, like whatever people would normally use. Um, it's a perfect vegan alternative. You can present it nicely. So yeah, that was great. And then I had cut up cheddar slices, which were the Violife Cheddarton, I believe. And yeah, my friends were like, that is, that is a perfect, um, you know, that's an exact dupe for cheddar, basically, and I really enjoyed it as well. So definitely recommend that. And then for the alcohol, it's non-alcoholic, so anyone can drink it. It's called No Zecco. It's also vegan, alcohol-free. It's basically for uh, dry January. This one I also found in Morrison's, but I'm sure there's, you know, it's not uncommon nowadays to find alcohol-free wine and things like that. So you can still have a fun party, make great drinks. But if you have, you know, guests who don't drink or you just... Obviously, if you're underage, you know, all the, there's many different reasons you can still partake and have um, oh, a little bit of ASMR. You can still have a really nice drink. And um, yeah, so we had that. And then you'll have seen the glitter. I just put edible glitter in, which is literally just if I, I have it in this cupboard. The one I used is this pink one. So you just kind of sprinkle it in, mix it in with the, the drink. And it's not just alcohol, obviously, like any drink that you mix it in with or food. Um, it makes really beautiful sparkles and glitter. And we were just staring at it in the glasses the whole time because it looks so pretty. So yeah, then um, yeah, we just had the charcuterie boards and drinks, made our vision boards. I'm not gonna show mine fully because it's obviously a bit more personal, but it's on um, these two big boards and I just cut out loads of phrases. Um, I can tell you for sure, like there were affirmation based phrases, um, just keywords, joy, success, good life, um, mermaid waves because I stopped doing my affirmations for my hair so I thought that's a good um phrase to kind of maintain the hair that I want kind of looking like this naturally this is styled hair by the way but if my hair could look like this a little bit more like this naturally then that's kind of on the right track of what I want so I thought having that and looking at that on my vision board would be a really good point uh what else do I have health winner like all these key phrases of really great things that just summarize having a really good life basically and things going uh, your way i have a big word that says perfect um loads of pictures of travel so i i'm very confident that it's all going to manifest maybe not instantly maybe not all by the end of the year but it is my future it's coming in now i know it's going to manifest um so it's going on my bedroom vanity and i can look at it every day when i wake up so yeah i had a very lovely successful evening and i hope you guys enjoyed the clips do let me know any feedback of how I filmed it and everything. I know it might have been a tiny bit rushed because, um, you know, I'm not going to sit there for 20 minutes trying to get the perfect angle. So let me know what you thought, if it was a fun idea. I think it would be really, really great to recreate with your friends this month if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, I'll do a final outfit of the day for this clip before we probably move on to another day. It's very simple, nothing particularly special because I am, you know, obviously just hosting at home with my friends. We're not going out. There's nothing, you know, crazy. So no jewelry or accessories, just a bit of a darker pink lip, which has come off a bit now. But yeah, my trousers are my absolute favorites. They are the pink version from Fourth and Reckless. So if you guys remember, I wear 
um, these like blue high-waisted trousers a lot and uh, that's from Forth and Reckless, the tall range. So are these, I got them on ASOS. And then just tucked in because it's almost like a bodysuit because it tucks in really nicely um, and it's very like form-fitting. It's like a thin jumper. It's from Primark. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice long sleeve jumper, obviously, because it's winter. This was more appropriate to wear so I don't get cold. And I'm kind of on a pink vibe today. It was a very girly evening. So I think I was on that whole feminine pink outfit trend. So yeah, just a nice comfy outfit, but put together because the trousers are really long and flared. So it almost looks like a bit more put together rather than, you know, just wearing jeans or joggers. And yeah, then I have new press on nails. So I really like these. Not that they're on theme with anything. I just wanted cute nails and these stood out to me the most. I might file them down a little bit more because they're a little crazy, but I do really like them. They look very pretty. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed. I am in central London. I'm in Piccadilly Circus, one of my absolute favorite parts of London. I just did a mini photo shoot with my friend and we're on our way to Whole Foods. So we've had a really lovely day. Went to Mildred's. Whole Foods is right there. And yeah, we're heading in, but it's been a really fabulous afternoon. Just loads of photos and everything. We're heading in this way. I think we can cut through here. Moulin Rouge there. I was there the other week from a different vlog. Amazing show. And yeah. Outfit of the day, starting with my shoes. These are my new look Chelsea boots. So guys, outfit of the day. You will have seen my little vlog clips when I was out, Piccadilly Circus, a little bit of footage from Mildred's, which I might insert now just as an overlay to make it easier. Uh, yeah, so I met my friend for lunch. We walked around. It was Leicester Square area, Piccadilly Circus. So yeah, I knew, I knew, I've been there quite a lot. I know the areas. I went to the Moulin Rouge Theatre recently. It's just really, really beautiful old historical architecture just i don't even know what era jordan probably far beyond beyond before jordan ugh, can't speak probably far before georgian era but um yeah just perfect for content creation really really beautiful like classic london so we were there now i'll show you an outfit of the day um very like pink and girly i wanted something like fun because i'm wearing this coat i just like to wear girly pastel colors when i'm wearing it for some reason but yeah i tied out the waist so it's flattering but also obviously tied up to keep me warm and i clipped it here and this is from i think the brand is called forever new i got it on asos and it was on sale um for like literally a 40 percent discount so if not actually it was like 55 percent off but yeah really really happy because it was exactly the type of coat i wanted it's honestly i say it every time but it's giving Kendall Jenner at, no, not Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner at the Met Gala, like 2018. But yeah, then, like I said, very forth and reckless, um, long tra high-waisted trousers as usual, a uh, pink polo neck that I got from a charity shop, which I've shown recently. This is very old. It's probably from AliExpress or a random online retailer. It says Angel, why not? And a white Primark handbag. And yeah, that's it. This is Heatless Curls, by the way. This is how my hair has turned out um, from using the heatless curl, heatless curl rollers, you know, where you tie your hair around. Um, yeah, this is basically the effect. I'm happy with it. Um, and that's the look. So a little vlog clip that I've set up because I had this waiting around. And as I always say in my videos, when I'm fully done up, hair, makeup, outfit, everything I want to film, any other content creators will know what I'm talking about. When you're having a good day, when your hair is styled or professionally done, whatever it may be, you want to take like a million photos and videos to stockpile for the lazy days where you're not doing that. So yeah, here is a little gift bag that is very, very cute. I'm going to do a fun little unboxing for you guys. It is um, an accessory. It's nothing crazy. It's not like a Chanel bag unboxing, but I'm still really happy. It's still a nice little luxury to have and it's something very useful for this season so I just wanted to keep it packaged as it was because this is gorgeous like I'm going to keep this as a gift bag for friends and then here this is um, I guess the brand is called Pip at 12 I think it's on the number 12 um, Old Amersham High Street which is where I bought it so it's a little um, kind of independent boutique and I'm going to rip it now oh I feel a bit bad but never mind that's what it's for. And I did pay £15 for these. So actually, we need to go back this month because they're probably going to have January sales. So I want to take a look. You never know. There might be something else. But 
I don't think £15 for what I'm about to show you is expensive at all. So I'm so impressed and happy to have found these. And they do fit. They are snug, but they do fit. Because <laughs> um, I have quite long fingers. They're thin, but long fingers. So I was always, you know, worried that maybe just buying standard size gloves wouldn't fit. But they do, even with these nails. So anyway, the product is these um, suede, I think they're suede. Um, oh, this is obviously not a real fur, um, and especially for £15, yeah, not real, but they're kind of like a suede material here with this kind of furry material here, and yeah, just very elegant gloves. I don't know what era this is, but it's giving kind of 1920s, and uh, let me put them on for you, but the special reason, I don't have many gloves, and I don't spend a lot, I'll buy a pair from Primark, I have a pair that uh, my nails have literally dug through, so this was definitely a much needed investment, and uh, the reason I got these, I told you they were snug, and um, yeah, the reason I got these is because they have on the fingers, the little, if you can see, the touch screen pad, so I don't know what it is, it literally looks like it's just knitted, but apparently, do I have my phone? I have my phone on me. Let me test it out. Oh my gosh, it works! I just unlocked my phone. Okay, amazing. So, um, okay, now I need to lock it again, but uh, that works. So the little pads here work, so you don't even need to take your gloves off in the cold weather. And a dark blue like this, I think is so chic. And it kind of goes with everything. I love blue. Um, I have loads of blue, pink, purple pieces, as you can see. So this is going to match really nicely. And it's so cute. So yeah, that's I got it from a little boutique. And it was so nicely wrapped that I was like, I have to do an unboxing for a vlog.